everybody and welcome to Spangly Nails YouTube. My name is Nicole and today I am doing my first ever tag video that I was actually tagged for. Yay! My lovely friend Jessie from Hey It's Jessie K. I will link her channel and all her fun stuff in the description box below. Go check her out. She tagged me for the let me just clarify what we're calling this tag. My first nail art looks tag. <laughs> all I'm going to say is, please prepare yourself. I'm scrolling. Going all the way down. Oh God. I'm not even, I'm not even at the place where I need to be and it's getting worse. It's getting worse as I scroll. Oh, I made it. Hallelujah, I think. <laughs> Okay, I have shuffled over so that you can um, see here. I will pop pictures on the screen here. Lucky you! Okay. The first one. Oh, God. Um, now, I still like crackle polish. I like the effect that it gives, so it's not the actual polish here, and the application I don't think is too shoddy, it's just the super dark Instagram filtered picture and the fact that I think I've taken it against my thigh or something. I don't even know. Yeah, okay, moving on. And this pose, what is this pose? I hate the claw, I hate the claw pose. But at least my nails are more or less, you know, they're all the same length. I think it, I think it goes downhill from here. As I thought I was getting better, I was actually getting worse. Uh, wow. 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 The quality in this one is just out of this world. Well done, Nicole. So this was when Magnetic Nail Polish was at its peak. This was published on the 24th of September 2012. I've obviously bitten my pinky and ring finger down. I actually think I remember taking this picture thinking I'm destined not to have longish nails so I'll just bite them down and keep them short anyway and they'll still look cool. Oh, it's awful. Okay, <laughs> this is such a horrible story. I had an ingrown toenail and I was going to get it taken off so it was like the bane of my life so I felt that I had to do nail art to commemorate the La the, the toenail being taken off me because that, that's what you do when you, you lose a toenail you, you put bye bye in a little footprint with bunting on your nails mm. I, also had, I also had found Caitlin Fairland at this point and she was my nail inspiration for so long so I, I loved her ha! see the next one is me attempting to do a glitter gradient inspired by Caitlin Fairland what a horrible horrible oh god I think that like the skill is there, the, the like the actual painting of the nail is fine. It's just a design concept, awful. Like you can see that I'm still like, there's still a good smile line at my cuticle. I'm not like over into my fingers and stuff like that. So it's not like it's like a bad paint job. It's just yeah. Oh wow, here's my first attempt at leopard print nails. Yay! If I hadn't told you that that was leopard print nails, would you have known that it was leopard print nails? Because to me that just looks like a few slugs. That bit up there, I'll highlight it, looks like a wee slug. Or tortoise. It's like a tortoise! Oh, that's awful. Why would you put that on Instagram? <laughs> oh god. This is one of the um, nail art looks that looked much better in your head. So it was supposed to be like um, like a sort of burst coming out from the ring finger but instead it just looks like Mr Blobby's Christmas dance. Moving on. Oh god, what was I just saying about the good smile lines? I have no words for this. I have no words for this. It's amateur and it's... I mean look at the length of the pinky nail compared to like the middle finger or the index finger. Oh god. I can't even talk about that. What is that? What is that pretending to be on my ring finger? Like, I can't. I just can't. I just can't. Okay. I'm going to move up a little bit because they're all just as equally as bad as each other. This is this was my first attempt at a gradient nail, but instead it just looks like somebody smeared toothpaste and left a bit in my cuticle. And then I think that's supposed to be um, pink leopard print on top of a silver background but instead it just looks like, I don't know, badly drawn bits of bacon. It's 
awful. Oh god, this one's hilarious. <laughs> That's awful. That's awful. Oh. Oh. This, this, I can remember doing this. And I remember asking Ronald, do you like them? And he was like, oh yeah, I love them, I love them, as they always do. They're always so complimentary. And I was like, oh, brilliant. And I was like, can you tell what it's supposed to be? And I remember being so mad at him because he didn't know what my pinky nail was supposed to be. But now, <laughs> when I look at it, <laughs> oh God. I don't even know what it looks like. It's supposed to be lipstick, but it is not lipstick. And I think that, that at this point I'd maybe discovered cute polish and that's supposed to be lips on my ring finger. That is awful. 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 Oh God. So this is me entering the contest. I think I must have put in three entries to this contest. And this set, um, my description says, only a true fan will understand I mean, really? Why? <sighs> Why? I made my light box on the 14th of April 2013, so the, the picture quality, to be fair, improved, improved when I made my light box. But what does make me laugh is that around 2013, mid 2013, I started doing then and now posts to do with like doing redoing nail art because I obviously thought that there was such a big difference between 2013 and mm, 2013? No. 14th of March 2013 versus oh, the 27th of May 2013. So I obviously thought that there was some superior difference. I mean, yes, I can see a difference, but no not enough to brag about and kid on that it looks better than it did three or four months ago. So there you have it. Thank you for, I think, thank you, I think, for coming down that journey with me. <laughs> uh, it was painful to witness, it was painful to watch, and it was painful to revisit. <laughs> but in saying that, if you like this video, then don't forget to give it a great big thumbs up. Come and visit me on all my social medias. You can go on Instagram and look at these pictures for yourself and um, everything will be linked down below for you. Don't forget to subscribe, come and be a part of my team and I will see you guys all next time whenever that may be. Bye!